This time on the show, GUIs for virtual access points. We round up the best Google Docs tools, recovering files from EXT partitions and VPN routes. All that and more this time on Hack5. This segment of Hack5 is brought to you by GoToAssist Express. Hello, welcome to Hack5. My name is Darren Kitchen. And I am Shannon Morse. And this is your weekly dose of Technolist. Hello and welcome back. It's episode 12 of season 10. Do you know we got a bunch of emails about people saying, Darren's stupid from last Why? week when, when I said, oh, the binary hey, thing? this is the last binary episode, because I, I literally thought we were on season 11. Really? <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. So we've been doing the show long enough that you forgot what season it is. It happens. Yes. Though we have been doing the show since 2004. At least you five. have. Five. 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 Yes. Whatever. August 5th. Jeez. The day that will live in infamy. <laughs> Maybe, That's a long maybe next time. next August 5th, we'll uh, go to the balls and get a bunch of people and all like have some beer out of boots. Yeah, since so apparently that party never happened. Yeah, we need to do that. Because I am. Well, I got the beer. <clears throat> I got the boots to put the beer in. So now we can get the people to drink it and then we'll all have fun. Wait, you got the beer boots? I got the beer boots. You got the beer boats? Yeah, wait, 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 Virtual access points using the new feature in Windows 7 and Windows 2008 R2 yes. to turn your laptop into an access point, which I've been doing uh -huh. at home because I'm I found an access point down the street and I'm relaying it with my laptop. He sure the, did, and it mm -hmm. and it's been working because because Comcast can't connect my. Shh, Darren. I can't get. I, I don't even have a cable Darren. modem at home yet. He's so bad. I I, I own a cable modem. But I've got RG59 oh instead God. of RG6, so I've got to run right. a new line. So I can't get, until I run a new line, I can't get some real internets. Well, before you delve into that, I have a gift. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's not from me to you, because oh. I would never do that. You're not cool enough. But it's actually from a fan. Okay, cool. It's from Phil. Uh huh. Wait, he didn't send you a birthday gift? Because isn't it your birthday? On the 18th. Well, it, doesn't this air on the 18th? No. Oh, see, I don't even know. This airs it. next week. <laughs> On the 9th. So this is a newspaper from 1991 mm -hmm. when I was six. Oh, I was older than that. Link up. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is sweet. So this is what Phil says. He says, hey, Hack Fivers. I was on the verge of throwing this away when I thought that you might enjoy seeing it. Check out that Chorus search engine. Chorus. Ooh. I've never heard of Chorus. I don't know I'm about cool that. I, there's a. I love this headline here, Paul. Can you get this? Cellular modeming, a young field, and it says <laughs> sending data over a cellular network is like trimming your hedge with a chainsaw. It's not that you can't make it work. It's just that the tool is ill-suited for the task, and <laughs> it seems like it goes on to say stuff about basically how the the uh, the noise on a cellular <laughs> modem is so crappy that it'll. Kick off most. What, what was ninety one? Wow, 2400 that's amazing. Ninety six. Ninety six hundred. Let's see. Baud. When I was yeah. six, what was I doing on the internet? Porn. I yes. <laughs> Porn. <laughs> Thanks, Pa. Ooh. No, I was actually I was playing Fury three and. Oh, dude, I had that with the Sidewinder. Oregon Trail. Did you have a I Sidewinder think. joystick? Yes. The Microsoft one. Dude, that game was yeah. so much fun. Yeah. Oh man, I love this stuff. Dude, thank you so much. VT100 modems and ASCII and TTYs and 2400 AN1. And that all is just so near and dear to my heart. So thank you guys so much. Cool. Yes. Now tell me a little bit about this. Uh, the virtual what are you doing? router stuff. Yeah. Is basically Didn't you do that last week? So that what I did was I showed you how to do it in the command line because it's yeah. way more fun to just be like, all, you know, typing in, what was it, uh, NetSH hosted network? No. You don't want to do that? No. And then you set your SSID. And okay, since when have I enjoyed doing command line stuff? I, I hate doing s command line stuff. I you mean, I can do it, but why do that when you have a GUI interface instead? Well, there are a couple. We've got a bunch of emails uh, from people pointing out that one of them is Connectify. i pull that up here at connectify.me. Connectify. And they've got a free trial version that you can download. And oh, what does it do? It, it creates the access point like I showed you how to do in the command line and allows you to share your internet, obviously, and display what computers are connected to, which mine didn't do, but come on, really? And then, oh, what's this? It only has limited connectivity for 3G and 4G modems. Why? 
well, what's the difference? It's an Ethernet inter or it's a, it's a network interface. And then, oh, you can't customize your SSID. If you want to do that, mm. which I can do in the command line, you have to pay $30. Are you serious? Yeah. So Sorry. because they're making it easier, uh -huh. they're like, oh, it's we charging should charge. For it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. And this okay. is why being a hacker is always better because not only you know, are you smart okay. enough to use well, command line stuff, but get this, if you're a really crafty hacker, you write some open source software, and this right here, hosted at codeplex.com, is called Virtual Router, it does the same thing, and it's free and open source. Oh. Yeah, I've got it installed over here. It's, you couldn't find an easier program to use. You give it the name of the router you want, I'll call it Darren's Network, and then you give it a password. Okay. And then you hit Start Virtual Router. And it has to be at least eight characters for the password, so. <laughs> yeah. All right. You want to connect to my network now? Yeah. Yeah. It couldn't be started because it's open source and I haven't finagled with it enough yet. But I think I'm actually using, uh, that's because I'm using the VirtualBox interface. There we go. So I'm just going to see that in my wireless list. I'll look into it. But anyway, this was another one that was sent in and it's basically the same idea as Connectify. And really, they're just GUIs in front of those NetSH commands. Yeah. I just like the command line stuff because it's like nothing to download. It's already there. Use it. You're just a fan of typing and keyboards. Yeah, I use <laughs> the built-in FTP instead of going down loading FileZilla. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan of WASD and mice. Yeah, WASD is good. Uh, we have a friend that might be interested in some WASD stuff as well. Really? Yes. Uh, his name is ViperXX. I'm sure he's okay. an uberly gamer from Germany, and he wanted to write in to let me know that the octothrope that we were talking about right. the other week, the uh, pound, the pound sign or, or number sharp. sign, or is a Gartenzwan, which is German for garden fence. And for some reason, that's what they call Why? it there. Well, I guess it kind of looks like a fence, Gartenzon? but it's... Gartenzwan? Guten Tag? Wie geht's? Was los? Ich möchte ein Bier? Yeah. That's, that's what I get. That's what I get. That's what we got for the A block. It's a short show because I've been spending the last couple of weeks working on this. Yes. Yes. Which you're going to help me on that, right? Yeah, I am. Uh, right. This is the new version of the Wi-Fi Pineapple. We'll demo. We'll actually debut it proper next week. All right. Well, stay tuned because I'm going to be checking out some of my favorite software. But first, we're going to check in with Kirby for the meow of the week. There are two things IT professionals and their clients have in common. They want the job done right and they want it done fast. And that's why I highly recommend go to Assist Express by Citrix for anyone in IT. It's got the fastest, most reliable support. Go to Assist Express puts clients at ease with a simple, secure, remote support. And it puts you in a position to do what you do best. Access, diagnose, and resolve the problem. With the fastest support experience and the ability to service multiple clients at once, you'll actually be increasing revenue while improving your customer service reputation. Take care of clients while they're away with the unattended support feature and get unlimited use for one flat fee. When it comes to remote support tools, I think GoToAssist Express is the best. So fast, so reliable, don't wait. Start using GoToAssist Express today. Hack5 viewers can try it free for 30 days. Go to gotoassist.com slash hak5. Again, that's gotoassist.com slash hack5 for a free trial. <laughs> 